Okay, now I'm going to bring my speech as concise and informative as possible so that everyone can understand and grasp the point of my speech. So let's get into it. When hearing the term education, first thing that comes to our mind is probably about studying, or learning, or solving problems ahead. I'm going to refer to you here as children or kids for this speech sake. Now, what I'm going to tell you guys here is about the, how the older generations are ruining the progress of education which does not match with the world nowadays. By saying older generation, I'm also referring to traditional school, conventional school in general. What I'm going to say is something that I've experienced myself, and this is purely my own opinion. Education. Education is a process of learning which is conducted formally or informally and also to improve one's self attention. What I said before was that how older generations ruin the education. You might be thinking, wait, I thought this speech was about you. Well, we'll get into that later. What I might say is probably controversial, but this is the truth. The older generation people are killing the youth through prevention. When it comes to education, we all agree that education is a process of making someone to be better and ready for what lies ahead. Now, younger children are taught to do stuff without asking the common sense behind doing it. Every time they ask, every time they're gonna ask for logic behind the certain activities of chores, it'll be said to them, shut up, do what has been told to you. If you complain more, you will get an F for this subject. For some part of the world, this is true. Kids are being silenced and do not ask any question. If you think logically, if you ask questions, it will be a source of curiosity. And guess what? Curiosity will come and become a source of invention and other great things. The children, just but the children's curiosity are being killed because they are not allowed to ask something that is really personal. And they don't have a place to express their curiosity, which makes the children lazy with their interest and being creative. Kids being put inside class, learning things that aren't going to be useful for them future and it's irrelevant to the world. Kids are demanded to do chores in order to get good grades and do what they were told. And also there's this thing called homework. I don't know why teachers are giving kids homework after six to eight hours of school. I've heard many of them said in one of his talks, teachers give him homework because they don't believe what they teach before in school are being understood by the students. Also, homework are just a waste of time and becomes a burden to a student. Student needs time for rest, for self-passion, self-explore and doing something fun, and enjoying their times. But uh, those activities are being blocked because of the homeworks. Uh, in this sense, it feels like treating the student as a robot and a pet of school just for learning. But it also makes children doesn't really know about themselves and their greater potential. It is true that children need to study, but they need some time also for hang out with family or friends and do something they like. It's important to teach problem solving, not to the tools. And also I want to mention one of the stupidest things I've heard when learning in school. And of course, we students can ask why such role is an important part of learning. A rule is that a rule that's dumb enough. It said that it is for improving character discipline. You guys know the rules where male students have to cut their short, their short, their hair short. Hater or not, in some school this rule of obligatory, and I really hate this rule. Every time a student complain, we always get answer. It's a school rule. You, if you don't want it, don't study here. Every time we get turned down like that. It just makes us students want to go on a riot and against the others. How come a hair length decides someone is disciplined or not? It is just pure dumbness. If it's just because you don't like the long hairstyle, it's your perception and not mine. So don't force someone that's weaker and in your control to follow unnecessary stuff. If it says, if it said that long hair is too girly, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has a long hair. And did he act really? He did not. It's the character's attitude that makes the true self, not some hair lengths. 
The youth responsibility is important in education. Meaningful youth engagement in shaping and delivering education is critical today. It is make it or bake. It is make it or break it factor that will determine how meaningful and efficient the transformation process will be. Transformation means the changes of education will be better and better. Youth represents an important agency in shaping the future education, and it is important to consider that issues affecting young people and education are dynamic, continuously evolving from region to region. So after the things that I've conveyed, here are some conclusions that we can get. School must really know what is best for the child, make children curious and interested in learning, and see important things that are relevant with the world currently. For the youth, keep curious, know about yourself, always critical in thinking, and adapt quickly with the world develops. That is all for my speech. Thank you for your time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi